mid 1970 and I bought myself a little Christmas present. A nice big Harrison 12 inch lathe, which you've probably seen behind me. Uh, this is three phase and obviously here at my house I only run single phase and the motor that came with the lathe was a big old one and unfortunately it's not dual powered so I can't convert it to 220 so I've had to buy myself a new motor as well and I've bought myself an inverter so there's the inverter it's a Hyang Yang I think most things these days come from China and down there's my new motor right so it's Freddy Freddy's come to give me a hand So there's the connections. At the moment, this is in what's called star. And you can see that these terminals here are all connected together. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen off those nuts and we're going to make the connections run this way. And that's what's called delta. And that allows us to run it off a 240 volt. VFD. So, we remove these dog bones, and we change their orientation. And then, And then the power cable is going to come in through here and it will join onto these and the earth will go to here. So now that's set, we're going to pop it back into the lathe. And this is the motor fitted. I've aligned the belts up. So all I've got to do now is wire in the electric cable. U, V, and W and then we connect those wires I don't know whether you can see I've got labels on there anyway U, V and W to the connections inside the box here and then your normal house power comes in and it goes here to R and T okay so it's R, S and T there but your house power goes to R and T now there's loads of other connections in here, you can change the settings on it, you can make it run remotely, but just for the basics, if anybody's thinking about doing this, I'll show you how to get it started. Right, so, we switch it on, and then you'll see a unit come to life. Okay, and it's flashing at the moment. Now, 
what I suggest you do is go to program thirteen set eight set now that's factory reset okay now I, I did find that with mine when it came it wasn't running quite right so I've done a factory reset on it and I've gone through everything and I'm going to show you how to do that now so for the first program go back down to number two and we change that to one and then we change this and we go up to program 70 and the shift key allows you to move between these numbers we set that to one as well okay right now what we should find is that when we go back to program program number three we have zero program four is 50 Hertz because that's what the motor is it's a 50 Hertz motor and program five is 50 Hertz now this is controlled by don't know whether I can zoom in there is a little tab there and you can move that little tab between two positions so it allows you to use this potentiometer on here or you can set a remote potentiometer which I'm going to do later on and I'll probably do a video on that as well so what we've done now is we've set this so that the potentiometer works because the potentiometer wasn't working on this when I got, took it out of the box and all the videos online show them working so we've set that now by doing the P program 2 and the program 70 and setting those to 1 so if I run this now the screen stops flashing and if I turn this up I don't know whether you can see that, you might be able to hear it. The motor is running. And if I press reverse, you see the indicator light move to reverse? And if I turn the potentiometer again, you can see it's going in reverse. And that's it basically. That's the very, very rudimentary settings for it. I hope that's useful and I'll be making some more videos in the future showing exactly how I set it up to run with buttons on the front of the lathe thank you for watching